In today's show, we will focus on how to effectively manage your beef enterprise when it comes to breeds and feeds. First, breed selection is important, especially for farmers who are in the arid and semi-arid lands. Poor choice of breed can compromise your investment. Basically, there are three main types of cattle. Those bred for milk, those bred for meat and those kept for both meat and milk. Thracians, for example, are bred for milk. Boran is kept for meat, while the Sahiwal and Saimento are dual purpose breeds that give both meat and milk in fairly good quality and quantity. The dual purpose, pure beef and cross breeds do well in arid and semi arid grazing systems, while the milk breeders are better suited for intensive systems where feed is adequately catered for. According to cattle expert Elias Moleki, it is advisable for farmers in semi-arid areas like Narok to crossbreed their indigenous breeds with superior exotic breeds. Breed ni kitu ya maana. Kwa mfano, wakulima wengi kama hapa Narok kwenye wanafanya beef farming wanaanza na Boran. Unajua Boran ni mnyama mwenye anafumilia magojo, anaweza tembea distance mrefu kutafuta chakula. So hiyo ndio kitu tunaita kama unaweza hiyo inaweza tunaweza sema kama ndio foundation ya breeding. And then anakuja anatafuta ngombe mwingine mwenye kwa na frame kubwa na ni wa beef. Anaweza tafuta cemento, anaweza tafuta bandinangas, anaweza tafuta charolis, ngombe kama hizo wakuja crossbreed na boran. So akisha crossbreed atapata njau ndama yenye itazaliwa itakuwa na big frame. So kuuza ngombe yake itakuwa rahisi sana weight gain itakuwa itaongeza kilo haraka sana so unapata ngombe ya mwaka moja mwaka mbili iko na 40 kg plus when raising beef cattle a farmer can focus on raising calves and weaners it is important to know that calves will take at least 15 months before they can grow to the age and weight that will make good money in the market depending on the breed Others may take as long as 24 months. This means the farmer must have enough feed for the animals for the entire period. Perhaps the easiest way for those who are not patient enough to wait for that long is to fatten mature animals for the market. This can be done in grazing systems or in feedlots where animals are confined and provided with feed and water at Olopirik Farm in Kajiado. They have specialized in the cemento variety solely for breeding purposes. Uyo mkulima hile gazi anavanya ni breeding. Yeye, ameona breeding iko na pesa. Because right here in Narrow County, unapata zire ngombe watu wakonazo ni nzepu. Nzepu ni ngombe, si ngombe mkubwa, ni tu ngombe tundogo. So ya ikunja mbreed, hii ngombe izae ndume, izae ndama wa kiume anauzia mkulima anaenda ku cross breed ile nzepu yake na indume na vile na cross hiyo nzepu ile mtoto hiyo nzepu itapata itakuwa ndama kubwa itakuwa na big frame as pia nisema pale mwanzo kwa beef ndio upate pesa lazima utavute ngombe yenye iko na frame kubwa mwili kubwa ndio iweze kujaza nyama cuz kama hii unapata ngombe wa, mwa, wa mwaka moja na nusu kwenda miaka mbili ako na kilo 600 Lakini kwa nzepu, for nzepu kumpata hiyo kilo, hiyo ni ngombe kama ya miaka tano. So mwenye nafuga hiyo anapata vainda zaindi kushida mwenye nafuga nzepu. Sasa kama sahi ukulima ya nyama iko na pesa na kuna ina mingi ya kupata pesa. Si lazima upate tu kuuza ngombe ya nyama, uuze ngombe duende achinjwe. Unaweza fuga ngombe kama huyu vile tumesema huu mkulima anafanya breeding. Unapata uh, kama unataka ndume kwake hapa saa hii ndume ya miezi 18 kwenda mwaka 2 anauza tu 250000 to 300 so ukiangalia hiyo ni pesa kama ni kike in kaveifa ina hapa juzi na ngro haraka huwa tuna tuna breed is given 15 months so unapata within ikiwa na 15 months alafu ikue 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 brand in cafe if I ask, and you go in cafe for three months to six months, and I was gonna add it So, na patu yomu kurima na pata pesa. Si lazima tu uende uze ngombe a chinjo. Uneza kuwa umeka beef kettles for breeding. Biashara yako ni breeding na utapata pesa. The simplest way to build your beef enterprise is to buy animals during the dry months when farmers dispose their animals due to the lack of enough fodder. 
During these times, the price of animals is relatively low because of the high supply. Buy the animals for fattening. Make sure you buy animals that you can keep for a maximum of 5 months. Normally, feedlot animals will take about 3 months to improve their body condition and attract favorable prices in the market. When sourcing for animals during the dry season, be careful not to buy sick animals. Consult a veterinarian to determine whether an animal is just emaciated because of lack of feeds or disease. Fattening ni kama tuseme kwa mfano ni kama quant value on your on your kwa ngombe yako cuz kwa mfano ngombe unaweza pata ngombe ni ya kilo 400 lakini hajanona na kuna ngombe nyingine ya kilo 400 imenona so ukipeleka kwa soko ile imenona ndio ita itanunua haraka na itaenda na pesa mzuri so that's why unasikia watu kama unataka fattening unajua kitu ya kwanza ngombe hawezi nona kama anatembea Ngombe hawezi naona kama akuli vizuri. Ngombe hawezi naona kama apati maji vizuri. So fattening tunaenda tunafunga ngombe mahali atembei sana. Kama ni kutembea ni just few meters kufanya two exercises juu ya muscles. Meters kidogo sana. So tukiweka hapo tunapea chakula msuri, chakula safi kabisa. So unapata hiyo ngombe itanona vizuri sana. Chakula, maji, alafu akua kuna stress, kisha. Kwa mfano ngombe kama unaona wamekula wameshipa saa hii ni mchana so advantages of feed rot is that you can't compare a beef cattle which has been in feed rot with the one which are being grazed because you see when you are grazing the cows when they walk they lose a lot of energy so they won't gain weight even if they will gain they will just gain a little bit of weight but the ones the ones which are in feed rot they gain a lot of weight because cows in the field, if they are well fed, well taken care of, they gain at an average of 3 to 4 kgs a day. But the cows which are being left to graze, to walk to find, to find grass, you might find that they just gain half a kilo per day or 1 kg per day. That's the one of advantage of feed rot. Also in the feed rot, you find the beef, is the quality of beef is much better than the one which are being left to work. Charles Mayani is the farm manager at Olopiric Farm. Here, they specialize only with the cemento breed and use the feedlot system of feeding. The cemento or Swiss Flake V is a Swiss breed of dual purpose cattle. Their coat come in variety of shades but are usually red and white or gold and white. The face of this breed is almost always white, even in calves that are only partially cemento. The average weight of matured cattle is about 900 kg for cows and about 1,300 kg for bulls, making them quite a large frame muscled animal. Mayani illustrates how they mix supplements that include dairy meal and molasses meant to provide the animals with energy, which they turn into weight. Unaendea maji 20 liters, baada kuendea maji unaleta unamagilia, unayaka hapa. Unahakikishi unayaka yote. Usibagishi hata kidoko. Baada kuyaka maji, unasikia hakuna kabisa. Unayaka hii ukando. Unalete hii 1 kg. Unayaka ya malasis. Unafungua mzuri. Unayaka malasis hapa. Malasis huu inamuja polipoja lakini itanjaa tu. Unahakikishi umejasa kabisa. Baada kujasa, unayaka hapa. Hii maji. Unayaka maji mzuri sana. Kila kwana. Ingiane yote. Unawasha ikitu yaki hui mzuri. Sababu, unahakikishi umekoroka yote. Hii mola sefa moja na maji. Baada baka kabisa kutoa, unahakikishi imekua sabi. Unakoroga. Hii mwala sifa maja na maji. Unakuja unayaka sigma feed. Hii unga. Unayaka korokoro kumi ya hii. Kila ngombi inakula korokoro maja na nusu. Kwa sababu ngombi ni kumi na mbili. 
Nakikisha unakoroga mzuri sana. Bado ni maji maji. Sawa unakoroga kabisa. Eh in Pindroth when doing ration the what we are looking at is protein and energy. Those are the most important nutrients in Finroth. Proteins you can get from you can get from fish meal, soya beans, sunflower, also rusan. You can get proteins from there. Energy you can get from maize and wheat. Uh, when mixing ration, you have to look at the age of the uh, the age of the cows. You can't give a cow which is two years old the same rash, the same ration which I'm giving to a cow which is one year or under one year. So we are also considering the age. When the animals are transferred to the feedlot, the mold changes from growth to finishing. The steers gain in weight at a rate of about one to two kilograms per day. Although this growth alone would not pay for the expenses of confining them in a feedlot, but in a remarkably short time, the animals also begin to finish by laying down a layer of fat. If you have enough pasture, you can select animals that are not attractive in the market because they are thin but are otherwise healthy. Feed them to gain weight and improve on body condition, then sell them off at a profit. Zero grazing way inatumia pesa. Though hata kama inatumia pesa ni more profitable than pandocking. Because kama tuseme kwa mfano kama ni beef when you do zero grazing. Weight gain ya ka, ya ngombe Ita, itaongeza kilo mingi kushinda mwenye akopandoking because the more vile ngombe bado ina work ina waste energy lakini mwenye amefungiwa anakula chakula tu na work ataongeza kilo haraka kushinda mwenye ana tembea naye mwenye anatembea uzuri yake ni vile aitumii pesa mingi so hapo italingana na nguvu ya mkulima kama unataka kama unaona unaweza zero grazing kama uko na capital mimi ningesema uende zero grazing ama hiyo feedlot kama una capital ya kutosha unaweza fanya hiyo pandocking cuz pandocking when you do pandocking you always compare na ile free range cuz pandocking una, una minimize the movement of the cow so vile una, una minimize ni kumaanisha ngombe itaongeza uzito mwingi kushinda mwenye ako kwa free range Paul Keshe is a young beef farmer and a trader at Ewasongiro despite the lack of rains he has been able to maintain a healthy herd <laughs> <laughs>